Dippers, this is Dawn from DawnStippingThoughts.net and today we're going to make the cutest little witch's hat. I got this idea from Janet Baker. She gave us the most adorable swap at Founder Circle and everybody was just going crazy over these witch's hats. So this is one that I used with the Curvy Keepsake box that we made yesterday in my quick tip video of the week. But look how cute the hat. It's got a clip, a little clothespin, and it just clips on there like that. So we're going to make this version. And then we're also going to make this version. This is using the spiderweb doilies, and it just sits onto the little keepsake box. Isn't that adorable? So then I also made the Santa ones. This one's using the red foil paper, which is in the holiday catalog right now, and then I used one with the red glimmer paper. Super cute. So now let me tell you a little bit about this bag. This is the Sketched Dots gift bag, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's little dots on this bag. Can you see that? I hope that's showing up. But what I did is I sponged the Tangerine Tango and then the Daffodil Delight and then I just left the top part white so it looks like candy corn. And then I went ahead and made a tag and this is using the Lots of Label Framelits. And then the Trick or Treat stamp is from the Halloween Treat stamp set and that's in the holiday catalog. And then I just added some silver sequins trim. So then that's the little tag and then I'm just going to use the hat for closing the bag. Isn't that adorable? All right, so are you ready? Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is gonna be the most important part of this hat, and these are the mini glue dots. We're gonna use a lot of them on your witch's hat. And then we're gonna use, you know, of course, the bow that we're gonna to add to the witch's hat. And I'm actually gonna make two, so I'm gonna grab two. I made so many here yesterday. So I think I'm just gonna use the one of the oranges and one of the black with the polka dots. Those are cute. Oh, did you notice my nails? <laughs> My daughter did them yesterday, and they're so much fun. I told her not to go too crazy, so this is her not too crazy style for my nails, but I love them. All right, so then for the first one, we're going to use the spider web doilies, and then, of course, we're going to use the black glimmer paper. So the three punches that we're going to use for this one is the tree punch, and the two and a half inch circle punch, and then the word window punch. So first, we're going to go ahead and punch out the word window punch. And then we're going to take the two and a half inch circle punch and punch over that, kind of centering it, right about there. Okay, so then we're going to punch out two of the tree punches. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so first we're going to take our two trees and we're going to put a glue dot on the very tip of the tree on the back side. And then you're going to put the two trees together. So they line up, and then you're going to put a glue dot on this side and this side of the tree base, the stem, on the glimmer part of the paper. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put this inside our word window punch, and we're just going to fold over the stem, And then this part is where it's going to stick to the bottom section of your two and a half inch circle punch. Just like that. So it should sit like this when it's done. Okay, so there's your hat. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add our bow. Put your bow. How easy is that? Okay, so then to add the spiderweb doily. I'm just going to go ahead and fold this in half, just lightly, because you're just going to cut like the word window punch area here so it sits on your curvy keepsake box. I'm just going to lightly cut a slit in the center. Can you see that? Let me see if it shows up better like this. Can you see that? Okay, so then this is just going to sit on top of this with some glue dots. Okay, and then to center that, okay, so there's your cute witch's hat that will go on to your curvy keepsake box, because you have the handle here, and that slit that we cut will fit right over top of that handle. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! So if you want to see this curvy keepsake pumpkin box that we made yesterday with the bow builder punch, that video was posted yesterday, and I'll post the link below this video. Okay, so now on to the clip hat, this one right here. I'm going to make this one next. 
Okay, so this time we're going to use the one and a quarter circle punch with the black glimmer paper. Once again, we're going to use the two and a half inch circle punch. Centering that. Punch that out. Then we're going to use the tree punch again. We're going to punch out two of those. Okay, so this time we're going to use the clothespins, and we sell these at Stampin' Up. You get a package of the little tiny clothespins, and so you're going to grab one of those, and of course we're going to use the glue dots. Let me turn this off. Okay, so you're going to put uh, two glue dots on either side of your clothespins, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got four glue dots on the clothespin, two on each side. Now you're going to take your tree punch. And there's really only one way that this clothespin can fit onto the tree punch without it showing. So you're going to put it as close as you can to the top of the tree and making sure that the clip part is towards the base of the tree. Then take your second part, overlap that. Okay, so now we have the clip is ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and add some more glue dots. We're going to add one glue dot on each point and then also on the stem part of the tree on both sides. Okay. So we have three glue dots on each side, one on each corner and one on the stem part of the tree. Now you're going to go ahead and lightly crease this two and a half inch circle punch. And then you're going to slide your tree up underneath there. And then you're just going to go ahead and pinch so it grabs the glue dots on the inside. And then just put your finger in there and kind of seal it down with the glue dots the rest of the way. Okay, so then when you pinch your top of your hat, the closed pin opens. So you can take your candy, I'm just using the Ghirardelli chocolates right now, and you're just going to pinch that on there. Isn't that cute? So we're going to put the bow on, so I'm just going to add another glue dot to the back of the bow. Just like that. Isn't that adorable? I love this. We just had it. So, so now cute. let's quickly make the Santa hat. Okay, so I'm going to use the red foil paper. It's so pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and punch out two of the tree punch. You can also use the red glimmer paper, which I did on this one here. Which you can see on the candy cane. It's super cute. And then the word window punch. We're going to punch out two with the silver glimmer paper. And then two of the half inch circle punches for the little tassel for the hat for the Santa. Okay, so this time we're going to cut off the stem of the tree. So you're just going to be left with the triangle punch. And then you're going to go ahead and put two glue dots, one on each point. You're going to put your word window punch over top of those glue dots. Do the same to the other one. Okay, now we're going to put a little tassel on the top. Okay, we're going to go ahead and adhere our clothespin. So, four glue dots. Okay, then you're going to position it just like we did on the witch's hat, so it doesn't show. And then put the other one on top and pinch it, just like that. So then this one is the Santa hat. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me show you everything again. Here's the pumpkin with the spiderweb doily hat. Cute. Okay, so then here's the Close pin one with the pumpkin. And here's the treat bag. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye!